Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be driving through Cherry Gardens, which is one of the top neighborhoods in Jamaica. So we are currently on Russell Heights Road in Cherry Gardens. Cherry Gardens, Russell Heights is on the boundary with Cherry Gardens. But um, this is a Cherry Gardens neighborhood. As you can see, some very nice homes and as usual the roads could do it some fixing up so cherry gardens is in kingston 8 it's um on one side you have the Rusta heights area and for those of you that aren't very familiar with jamaica it's um Maybe Barbican would be a more popular place. So on one end you have Russell Heights and Barbican. On another boundary you have Jacks Hill. On another boundary you have Norbrook. So this entire area now is what they call Upper St. Andrew or Uptown Jamaica. So it's Cherry Gardens is a part of it. One of the neighborhoods. And um, Norbrook, Jacks Hill, Millsboro, Manor Park, Russell Heights. They all con or refer to this area as Uptown Jamaica and it's because of the houses and the cost of the houses and how nice they look and people just call it Uptown sometimes I call it Upper St. Andrew so the homes in this area now are home that was probably built when the camp when the area was first being developed and hasn't if that home hasn't been renovated to any great extent we're probably looking at between 70 and 80 million now the homes on this side are the newer homes as you can see they look much newer well maintained so these would probably go for a little more and a new complex now like a townhouse you're probably looking at over a million US apartments probably a little less okay on the right now you see an empty lot you see how it, they put up barbed wire have the private property no trespassing sign as that piece of lot is worth millions because there are only a handful of empty lots in cherry gardens okay straight ahead is a cherry gardens great house and back in the day cherry gardens was a sugar plantation so all of this that you see now was sugar cane so that's the great house and it's um one of the national heroes used to live there I think it's I'm not sure which one but I know one of the national heroes used to live at that house if anybody knows you can leave a message in the comment section our right, Cherry Gardens is a very large neighborhood. Thousands, not thousands, hundreds of homes. Thousands of people live here. And it's probably one of the most popular neighborhoods in Jamaica. If you hear, you often hear Cherry Gardens referred to in songs and it's like a benchmark for an area in Jamaica. It's a very popular area. Now, you see these sleeping policemen in the road? Um, what happens is a lot of persons drive through this area to cut out traffic. And so you have a lot of speeding. You see how the road is straight at this end. So you have a lot of speeding. So I'm assuming, I don't know who put them in. I'm assuming it's the association because I can't imagine the government putting in sleeping policemen in a residential area so I'm assuming it's an association um, they're putting these speed, sleeping policemen or speed bumps to make sure people can speed through the neighborhood now when I say association it's like a citizens association so, okay one of the more popular roads in Cherry Gardens now is Upper Markway which is where we're on now and the reason why it's so popular is because 
there is a very prominent high school in Jamaica called Hillel Academy. It's located in Cherry Gardens and located on Upper Markway. So we're going to drive by the school in a few minutes. But as you can see, some very nice homes. Every year, a list of the top neighborhoods in Jamaica is published. It's like a ranking. And Cherry Gardens is usually number one. If they're not number one, they're number two. But they're always in the top three. Okay, straight ahead, that hill where all those homes are, that's Cherry Hill. It's a part of Cherry Gardens and you have to drive through Cherry Gardens to access it it's referred to as Cherry Hill. Okay, coming up on our left now is the Hillel Academy. Its school has been here, here for decades. It's a very nice school, one of the top schools in Jamaica. We're not going to try to drive through or interfere with the school. And it's also one of the most expensive schools in Jamaica. Our ranking was done once and I think it's probably the second or third most expensive school in Jamaica. AISK, the American school, that's the most expensive school. And I think Hillel is number two. Yeah, Hillel is number two. If anybody knows what the school fees is like at this school, you can leave a message in the comment section. But it's a very large school. It has a high school and a prep school and a lot of students attend it. So also it has, um, I think it's the largest school in terms of land space. The amount of acres it sits on. I think it's the largest school in Jamaica because it has a prep school and a high school but there are... I'm almost sure I heard once that it, it sits on the largest land area in Jamaica. Now Cherry Gardens is one of the few places where you find persons actually building homes. Usually when persons, okay on the left now this is like a gated community, you see the high wall and a security gate. Usually you find persons building apartments or townhouses but in areas like Cherry Gardens you find people putting up um, homes, single structure homes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.